Okay, so here is my strawberry garden setup, as you can see. So I have this thing lined with mylar blankets, a 100 watt light, LEDs. And then here we've got our bucket with an air pump underneath that our strawberries on top. And so you can see the strawberries are really starting to come along quite nicely. A strawberry there, 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 that checked a few days ago. Strawberries over here. Got a June bearing plant, which has got a different variety. They look pretty good. Um, a bunch on this guy here. This guy's gotta get picked. If that go too long, uh, it goes like this one just a couple days. It's a little bit more ripe, but I like it. But still not bad. Then you got the flowers, which you have to uh, pollinate yourself. I'll show you in a second. But then what you have is you have these stones underneath that are that are pumping air through the water there for uh, for uh, uh, the fish tanks. And then you got your roots that are growing down and getting in there and enjoying that nice thing. You got some runners coming out too, but they don't really go anywhere. So there's that. I got mylar on top just to keep it because you can't get any light underneath here. You get light in here, it starts growing algae. And once you're growing algae, then they just, they don't do so good. But here they got fresh leaves. They're doing really, really good. I love it. And then here's how I do the pollination. You just take a, a paintbrush, a regular kind of paintbrush, and I just go around. Every time I see a flower, I just, Paint the flower. Paint this flower up here. Paint this flower. Paint this flower. There you go. Get some pollination. I don't see any of that. These are June bearings, so this guy might not put any more out of time, but these are ever bearing. So they should keep going. I don't know when they'll stop, but there you go. So now we're getting strawberries all the time. And I think I'm going to probably put a couple more. To probably put two or three more containers in here and really maximize the yield. But we got inside here uh, at the top here at 70, at the bottom at 68, and at 58% humidity. So kind of cool.